Hi, I'm Jeff with Miss Kate, and you're watching Jeff Plays With Stuff. I had an idea, and I've never had anything like this, and it's going to be an interesting experience, but I think that this will be cool because we are going to be able to take SVGs that Kate designs and it's a big box, 3D print them. So I don't even know what's in this box, but I think it's a printer. This is really well packed. Oh, it came with a sample of white. And then there's a box and instructions. Here, what's in this box? I don't know, a power cord, some screws, some, a USB. Oh, it came with a scraper. Okay. Oh, this is the filament holder. And then this is an extra filament tube. Okay. I'm not entirely sure how to get it out of here. It's heavy enough I don't want to just... I have an idea. Put it on its side. And I'm going to slide everything out. No? It's fine, but me too. I think there's what you want to do. Okay, there. That is a giant ball. When I started doing research, they were talking about the gantry and I instantly knew what the gantry was. When you go to Disneyland, you go to Guardians Breakout, and Rocket Raccoon talks about the elevator gantry. I don't know if this is, this is not connected. So this is the gantry. Don't fall. Saved it. Bolts come from the bottom. It's these. This is all packaged very nicely, actually. The first step is to install the gantry on the gantry frame onto the base. The gantry, I just like that word. This is sticking down too far. I've got to raise it. So this is the version two of, version 2.0 of this machine. All the complaints people had and problems people had with this machine seem to have been fixed. Don't chew on that, puppy. I've got a visitor. Whoa! This is Arlo. Aren't you cute? Okay, there's two down. Look out, buddy. So this has the 12 by 12 inch base, and I think it'll go up to 18 tall. So I can print like a full scale Mandalorian helmet after we print some Miss Kate SVGs, of course. Cable connections. There are A few cables. We've got to hook up these motors. Plug those in. That's for the Z. This has dual Z. And then 
plug this one in. These are the Z motors that will move it up and down. So there's X, Y, Z. The ribbon. The ribbon is coming over here. We better, I normally don't look, but this is such a new, a new thing for me that I probably should check what I'm doing before I just start doing stuff. I like that ribbon cable. And then there's even more. And does this just dangle? I don't know. They're in their own little bag to attach the filament spool holder. I'm excited because I've been playing with the vials and I've been um, experimenting with being able to take a title and extrude the, the title up to give it a third dimension. Oh, that's kind of loose, but it's not going to hurt anything. Now it's wanting me to turn it on. Now you can see the screen turn on. We're gonna plug it in. It made some clicking noises. Version 10 Pro. It has a speaker. I wonder if I can play MP3s on it. There's all this stuff you have to do like bed leveling. I tighten the nuts, select settings, level, so this little thing right there is supposed to auto level, this is supposed to touch, that little here. It did. They've 3D printed. There's a fan here that blows on the filament, and they've 3D printed a nozzle to direct. That's funny. You buy a 3D printer that has 3D printed parts. Adjust the flap because I don't want to scratch the bed or something. So if I put a sheet of paper. There's lightly there's pressure. Okay, I think that I'm done. So now I go back. And I'm going to turn auto level on. Auto home. I don't know what home is. To the loading filament. Arlo. Arlo. Hey. No. Don't chew on my power cords. Ah. Don't chew on my power cords, buddy. Yeah. Entertain everybody while I open this filament up. Arlo's our last puppy we have. Hey, hey. It's not a tree, even though the dogs think that I need to. Oh, hello. I just show you. Okay, look. Look at the white on his chest and his chin. And then he has a white toe. He's a good boy. 
they you can 3D print something called a benchy, which is a little a little boat. Um, they call it a benchy, and everyone prints benchies. It's kind of like a a way to calibrate to make sure the quality of your printer, the quality of the prints are working. I'm assuming I would need to cut this. Because it's nice. Oh. How do I cut filament? I found some pliers. They're not pliers. These aren't pliers. They're do it best nippers. Okay, so loading the filament. It says that I want to preheat. What is it? refuel settings? It sounds like an old phone. It does. Yeah. Are you filming? Yeah. Will you cut this out? Cut what out? Me talking? No. <laughs> Where'd you get um, that? Yesterday. Why? Can you 3D print me a shark? Well, we're going to 3D print scrapbooking SVGs. I'm going to extrude titles up and make them tall and print the titles and see how it works. But then I'm also, I got one big enough I can print a full-size Mandalorian helmet. With that one, can you make me a shark? Yeah, we can print a shark. Or a panda? Yeah. <gasps> really? You can make me a panda? What I need to do is get the attachment that makes it so we can do four colors at once, and then it can do a black and white panda. <laughs> I know, but if we're going to do that, you have to do it with me on camera. Oh, yeah, I'm down. But it takes like... A long time. Ten hours yeah. or something. I don't know. You can... That's fun. I can have a 3D printed panda. I know. Um... So this is just do automatic. We PLA is what we're using. It's not live. Yeah, it's live. Uh, don't cut this out of the recording. No mind, lie. Mind your hand. My dad's gonna 3D print me a camera. Press and hold the extruder leveler lever and insert so i need to wait till the nozzle gets hot up to temperature to melt the pla because you feed it through over here and it goes up through this special tube and down through the nozzle and then it um then it you keep manually feeding it until it starts to come out i want it to go up This is cool. Oh wow, this thing heats up fast. Okay. I can never just jump out of the chair because we always have so many dogs. What is the lever? Oh, this is the lever. How do you do it to start? There. And then it supports. There, it's feeding into this blue tube. I'm going to raise it so it's easier to see. Something's coming out of it. But it's black, not white. Okay, watch the nozzle. Oh, black is coming out. Oh, now it's going white. Okay. Well, this is my first 3D print. Millie, yeah. come look at my first 3D print. I know. Isn't that exciting? Mm-hmm. 
Whoa. You have a 3D it? printer? We do now. Yeah. You, do you want my first 3D print? We're just setting it up right now. I want a panda 3D print. Okay. Look, get in the video. Get in the YouTube This video. is so cool. Say hi, Noah. This is Millie's hi. friend, Noah. We like Noah around here. You guys see YouTubers. YouTubers. What? You're YouTubers. <laughs> well, we're not YouTubers. We we have a, a scrapbooking company that a design company that has a YouTube channel. This oh, is my warm. dad's first print. I know. That are you so impressed? Yes. Mom will seriously be so excited. Go show mom my first 3D print. Okay. So now it wants me to set up now it wants me to install software and set up so i think we're going to end this build video unboxing and assemble video because we accomplished that um 3d printing videos this is something that jeffy gets excited about i'll have fun doing this Stay tuned for more 3D printing with Miss Kate Cuttables. Update! I broke the 3D print! <laughs>